Let's find out what's one of the top things that's helped saved my career. And that sounds like a really dramatic thing to talk about, but that is what I want to talk about. There was a lesson that I learned in my first year in business that really saved me emotionally. And so fair warning, this video is just a tiny bit spiritual, but it's a principle that I learned in that first year of doing business that really changed everything for me. And so I want to share it with you. So my first year, um, as I've shared just a little bit, I was extremely fortunate. I was able to do 40 deals that first year. It was an amazing year in real estate, but I learned pretty quickly into it, maybe about three months into the year, into the sales year. I learned pretty quickly that it's very easy in real estate to connect your heart um, with, that's not the right way to say it, but but to allow your brain to think that your finances come from your clients, okay? And I know that sounds like a funny, kind of obvious thing. Well, yeah, of course, like you work hard, you connect with the client, you have a contract, you get paid, that's where your money comes from. And that's what the world thinks, you know, that's how most people think. But if that's how you think in real estate, you could potentially go crazy very, very quickly. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's because real estate, is the craziest roller coaster of any, anything that you could imagine. It's wild. And one minute you're gonna be earning $10,000 in a month, and then the next minute it all falls apart and you're making no money, but now actually you're losing money for whatever reason, and now you're gonna make 50,000, now you're gonna make minus 20,000, and it's this crazy roller coaster that's up and down and up and down and up and down. And it's wild. And so that happened to me a handful of times where I'd have some great contract or some potential of a great contract and then it would fall apart. And emotionally, I would be wrecked. I would just think, oh my gosh. But I would also connect my feelings with the clients and say, hey, I can't believe this person did this to me. Don't they know I have a family? Don't they know I've got this, that going on, whatever. And I was on the roller coaster, not enjoying the ride. You know, like depending on the day I would, but generally not enjoying the ride. And the Lord stopped me one day and he said, Grant, you have to get this fixed right away. You have to fix this thinking because it's the wrong thinking. And if you continue with it, it will make you go crazy and it's going to ruin your life. <laughs> so the thinking that he corrected in me, he said, look, your finances do not come from your deals. Your finances for your family does not come from your clients. The money that you receive doesn't come from those things. I am the one that provides for you financially. Your money comes directly from me. So when you need finances, you don't look to your clients, you look to the Lord and trust him to provide for you. And he said, get this right, cut off those ties of thinking that your finances come directly from your clients, cut off the ties and then look directly to me. And when you look directly to me, trust me that I'm gonna take care of you and serve people with all of your heart. And then when you serve them, it's not gonna matter if deals fall apart or not because you're serving them and you're not putting your trust in them for your finances, you're putting your trust in me. And so it was a little correction, it was a small correction. Um, and I, you know, I took a minute, I just repented to God, I'm sorry, I don't wanna think that way. Of course, my finances come from you, get it right in me. And for the next couple months, I really worked hard to get that into my, my thinking, my system of beliefs. And what was amazing is it got me off of the roller coaster. And then I was free to have a normal life in the midst of real estate where things fall apart daily and they come back together daily. I was able to have a normal life and not to be wrecked uh, emotionally every single time a deal you know threatened to fall apart and I just continued to say okay my finances come from God end of story father I thank you for this business I thank you for these clients I'm gonna serve them as good as I possibly can but if they close or if they don't close it doesn't matter because my finances come from you and you're gonna take care of it and when I got that right it's like it unlocked a uh, it just unlocked a door for business to begin to come my way in greater measures, much more so than what I was experiencing before and much more so than what I thought was possible. And so that's been a core principle of my business the last many years 
is having that right understanding. And I just want to encourage you, if you don't have that understanding, you're probably on the roller coaster. And so when your clients, the deals fall apart, you might be getting wrecked emotionally. And there is an answer. Jump off the roller coaster. Don't put your trust in your clients. Put your trust in the Lord and ask him to take care of your family. And he will do it. And then he gets to show off about how good he is taking care of you. All right, so that's my encouragement for you. If you're in real estate, if you're doing sales, put your trust in the Lord. He wants to take care of you. He's the best father that you could have ever hoped for. He's gonna give you wisdom and understanding of how to run your business and, and make plenty of money for your family, to provide for your family, and also serve your clients extremely well. Okay, I hope that's encouraging to you. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on that, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye.